guys, it's Dear Natural 62. Recap! Check out my video right before this. It's a gothic, romantic Valentine's Day nail look. I hope you do like it. Keep the comments coming. Tell me what you want to see. Give me inspiration and I will inspire you. I did this cute Valentine's Day look. One of many that I'll probably be doing and I posted it on Instagram. Just to show people that you don't necessarily have to do all your fingers if you don't want to. If you want to go for a more subtle look, you can do two fingers or you can do your ring finger whatever you like. But now, let's get into our color combos. Okay, I got some different things for you this time around. I'm going to be doing a color combo from one social media site. So one color per social media site, that's one new thing. Two, I'm going to be giving you different nail shapes. So we're gonna have these looks on different nail shapes. Three, I want to tell everyone thank you so much for all the color combos and definitely please keep them coming. And don't be mad if I don't choose yours yet. I get so many requests now, it's a little bit overwhelming, but I do absolutely love it. And I'm going to be listing the people that suggested these color combos below each color combo. So thank you again, I'm happy, and please definitely let me know what you think about your results for your color combo. I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, as usual, I'm going to give you some random questions, and then I'm going to speed up a bit, so this video is not extremely, extremely long, <laughs> but, okay, first number one question is, what kind of water are you using? This is regular room temperature tap water. It's nothing special, it's not filtered water, it's not bottled water, it is regular room temperature water. So I get this question a lot and people are often asking me, you know, did I put something in the water? No, I didn't. I just got it from the faucet. You can too. <laughs> now, if you notice your colors aren't spreading, that's a whole nother issue. It could be that the temperature isn't right or it could be that you're using um, polishes that are a little bit too thick, which sometimes can cause an issue. I'm not going to lie. A rounded nail for this look. Find the position that you want. Be sure you apply a base coat. I used one coat of white just so that my colors will appear brighter once they're on. I notice if you don't do a base coat, your color comes out faint and it's not as brilliant as you would like it to be. Like you can see I used white underneath this. If I didn't use white underneath this color combo, my colors would come out so so pale it wouldn't even be worth it. So definitely use a color for a base. That's another tip. Let's dip in. Let's see. Now what you're going to want to do is just blow on the water to clean the surface. Just so it's easier when you pull your finger out that you won't have any gook on your nails. Look at that. How pretty. You wouldn't have thought it based on the way that the colors just seem so so light in the water, but you just never know what you might get. Now, if you see some imperfections, we can hide that and we can play around with that. So I hope you love your design. More to come. Now, I chose this color combo because they only requested two colors. Just to show you, you can use as many colors as you'd like, and you can use just two colors if you'd like. And if you only want to use one color, you can also play around with that also. I've seen that done also, and it's not too bad. Like, somebody will dip greens, and it'll be all the same green, but a little bit variation in shade. So it comes out real cute. I've seen it for St. Patty's Day. If you want, maybe I'll even do something like that because it, it did come out very cute in my opinion. But now I'm not just using a regular polish for this one. Oh, I might have to add a little bit more black. I'm using a matte finish polish here because I've shown you, you can use glitter, you can use matte, you can use, you can use so many different polishes for this look. a pointed finger. Let's see what that does. Look how 
how cute that looks and that'll probably look even cuter once it dries because I used a matte color so let's see what that looks like at the end it already looks different and funky I like it thank you now another common question I get is can this work on short nails yes it does what I'm gonna do is post some pictures at the end of this video just so you can see how they look on shorter nails also because Thank goodness, I have such loyal fans that once they create a look or a color combo or they try this at home, they send me pictures and I absolutely love it. Usually I'll get my followers from Twitter or they'll tag me on Instagram or post it on my Facebook fan page at Dear Naturals 62 So definitely, if you try any colors that I do, if you just try this method, just let me know. I'd love to see your results. I usually try to comment back. Trust me, I don't get to everyone but I definitely do try because I'm at the point now I do get a lot of comments back I love it so now when creating flowers what you can do is just make sure you keep dipping in the center it not only gathers your design together, but it just brings everything together very nicely. I'm going to go with a square nail. I'm debating if I should just get the sides or if I want the middle too. The middle is just so funky. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try to get a little bit of both. I told you look how cute that looks you just never know I absolutely love the fact that once you dip your finger and you bring it back up it's like a surprise to you and the design because it may look one way in the water but look completely different on your finger so you know hope for the best that's what I often do and I always like my results and if I don't then you know what you can always enhance them to make them exactly what you want but this came out so cute I love the variation of color I love how it made its own little dots and everything and I love how I got a little bit of everything I think this came out so adorable super duper cute but definitely at the end of the video I'd love for you to tell me which design was your favorite and keep those color combos coming okay here's our last color combo now if you notice your nail polish is giving you some issues make sure your nail polish is not too thick and a way to you know dilute your nail polish it's not with nail polish remover it's with nail polish thinner I use beauty secrets and I get it from Sally's you can also definitely get it online also you know what I've just been noticing that I've been saying the word also a lot <laughs> Anyway, um, another common question I get is, can you dip more than one finger? Yes. Trust me, for the purpose of this video, I'm only doing one finger at a time because I'm using your color combo choices. And when I do this on myself, I tend to dip either two or even sometimes four fingers at a time. It just saves time. nail shape I'm going to use on this finger. Oh, different. It looks like a little acid like like you drop nail polish or paint or something and then dipped acid or something on top of it. That's what it kind of looks like cuz now you have so many different like gradation of the color. It's cute. I like it. So I'll be right back. Okay, here's our final look. And I'll tell you everything I did. I absolutely love all the color combos. I think they all came out cute in my opinion. So I definitely, first question, which one is your favorite? Second question, which nail shape is your favorite? I want to keep doing more of these different nail shapes for you with the color combos so you can see how they would look on different shapes. So now this was the last one we did. I think it came out so adorable. So all I did was add some out the door northern lights. It's a fine, fine silver glitter. It gives it kind of like a galaxy look to me. That's what I thought. This one was right before the last. 
I just think it just needed a high gloss shine. I'll list all the products that I use down below. That's all I think it needed. Now this one, I wanted the matte to show even more pronounced. So all I did was add gloss to the black portion of this design in the center. So the exposed pink in matte. So it gives it kind of like a dimensional type feel to it. Now this one needed most help of all because even though it was gorgeous, after I applied the top coat, I had like a few water bubbles and remember there was like a big blob here so I took my nail brush again I made my point even pointier so it was like this so I slowly took the blacks purples and I blended them out and I got some of my water bubbles out and then I just applied a top coat on there just to give it a finished gloss look so again it's Dear Natural 62 water marble let me know your favorite designs. Keep the color combos coming. Don't forget to follow me on social media, on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Follow me and like my Facebook fan page at DearNatural62. More videos to come. I think my next video, I'll give you a heads up. I think my next video is going to be what's in my closet. I've gotten so many new things that I want to share with you. So definitely that's going to be my next video. So again, I hope you enjoy this. It's Dear Natural 62. Take care. Bye-bye.